Hello, my name is Blake within the Hyperloop. Today we're talking with Danny, who is a UX UI designer with DV Mobile. DV Mobile builds enterprise software for the cloud, whether it's a new product or a new customer experience or updating an existing application. They can work with you or your company to create new software or embedded electronics. So, how does this relate to Hyperloop? Well, each Hyperloop group has to take in consideration the user interfaces of passengers or companies that want to use the Hyperloop. So you need a very diverse engineering team as well as design team to create different products for the Hyperloop. So enjoy the conversation and stay in the loop. Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop. Thanks for joining. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's great. Thanks. Thanks. So I mentioned briefly in the introduction, uh, Danny, that uh, you work at DV Mobile as a UX UI designer. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about DV Mobile and how your role fits in DV Mobile's work? Sure. Um, uh, DV Mobile started in 2010, uh, and it's uh, based in Denver. And it's a, a consultant for enterprise software design and development. And we work in heavily three main areas, um, IoT, manufacturing, retail, and healthcare. Um, and personally, I, I think I contribute in two ways uh, as a UI designer. Um, one is big picture, and one is little picture. In the big picture as a company, I think I just bring uh, a new fresh approach, uh, the, the designer way of seeing things, uh, I am also quite young, so you know yep. I just bring that to the company. And then in the everyday day to project, um, I I get hands on the design. I do a lot of the interface design. I do a lot of the um, interactions, a lot of the flows for each project that we work on. That's so cool. that's what I do. Um, yeah, you as a kind of the designer, you have to take into account all these different things, and you do touch many different parts of the project and. Um, so, so Danny, how did you become interested in this um, development space or IoT, and, and how do you think it might affect um, both urban and rural populations when they start using more IoT and, and design? Thank you. Um, I, I first became involved in, in technology and in software and IT uh, with this job at DV Mobile. Uh, oh, before cool. that, I had very, very little experience. Um, okay. I'm an industrial designer. So I had worked in many other fields, but not necessarily in IT. Uh, but in the in the last four years that I've been at DV Mobile, it's just been uh, so much learning, so much growth, and just the immersion in in this industry. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been able to see lots of trends, lots uh, the emergence of a lot of uh, technologies, including IoT. Mm -hmm. And we have actually ourselves used uh, IoT in the transportation scene. Mm -hmm designed a, a smart survey, uh, which is an app that replaces mm -hmm. a little bit of like the traditional paper surveys. Mm -hmm. um, and city planners have used this information, this data that they get through the app uh, in, in through this to, to help them with their uh, planning efforts. And it's oh, been really? amazing. They have gotten some data that they had never had before, mm -hmm. that it was impossible to imagine before, unless you would just shadow a person <laughs> Um, that's and interesting. It's been amazing for them. That's that's incredibly helpful, and um, I think as we see these new transportation options evolve, you know, having user feedback as a planner would be incredibly helpful. <laughs> what are some of the challenges? or are the biggest challenges that you face day to day. Um, I thought a lot about this because it's a very interesting question, mm. and I think that the challenge of a designer, not just in UX just in any industry, even not in IT, <laughs> yeah. is that you you have to be one or two or three steps ahead of people. Mm. Uh, you have to create something that people are going to use, and you want to be ahead of whatever behavior they're going to come up with. Um, mm. in, in technology, it's fundamental. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also very hard to do because people are so unpredictable. Yeah. Um, so it's just it's just this ever constant constant struggle of we're trying to get ahead of people, which is the most unreliable thing ever. Oh, that's funny. That's that's, that's 
That's really funny. That's so true, though. <laughs> um, so we hit on, you know, the, this huge challenge of getting, you know, figuring out people, um, you know, but what do you like working in this space uh, or in the cloud development community uh, or in your role in particular? Uh, I think what I enjoy the most is that um, I can see firsthand with every project and through the years, the impact that I have had in our mm -hmm. company and our projects with our clients and in the industry um, as, as, uh, as being one of the few designers still um, yeah. in, a, in a world of very defined rules, structure, um, almost everyone's an engineer. Mm -hmm. um, having someone who is a little bit more flexible, more um, um, naive even, I'm not afraid of saying I am naive. <laughs> I, I think it's a, it's a competence, I think it's valuable. Mm -hmm to be able to step a little bit uh, outside and see things differently and contribute uh, from there. Cool. That's, I think that's always really helpful to have, you know, such a diverse group <laughs> of people uh, when you're working on a project. Um, and I see that a lot in Hyperloop teams, like um, uh, university teams, they're very, very diverse. And um, uh, So how, how do you see Hyperloop or autonomous cars or, e-bikes, uh, do you see them replacing, you know, day-to-day -day travel in the future or f for a weekend getaway? I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. Um, even since since I was in college and um, I did a few transportation projects uh, in school and I just, I, I learned a lot about uh, alternative uh, transportation and alternative energies and, uh, and all that. I, I myself designed a few a few things Oh, okay. And we just wanted it to happen, and yeah. that's I think that's part of why I also like hands on went to like design some of these vehicles even is because we just wanted it to happen. Oh, that's awesome! Um, if you want to shape the future, you have to play a part in designing it. <laughs> Absolutely, it like here we want this now. <laughs> that's awesome. So let's switch gears a little bit and close out with some more fun questions. Um, what two cities? Uh, would you like to see better connected um, by transportation? I also thought about this one a lot, oh. and I am going to be very, very selfish with this one. And I would like to see Denver and Mexico City connected. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. that, that is a trip that I've done many, many times in the <laughs> recent years, and, yeah. uh, and obviously would connect uh, everything in between, awesome. making a wonderful corridor yeah, yeah. Uh, that would span you know, a big, big part of North America, and it would, yeah. it would, it would reduce my carbon footprint a lot. I, th I yeah, <laughs> just yours. <laughs> no, um, I think it would reduce a lot of carbon footprints all around. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, if you could, if you could ask um, Elon Musk any question, uh, Hyperloop related or not, you know, what would it be? I, I ask this question to all groups, so. <laughs> Um, what I would ask is to give us his best uh, educated guess at when would this be a reality? Uh, mm. Like, realistically, what year, what month <laughs> I see myself being a passenger or I see myself using this casually, mm -hmm. uh, no, not like a one-time demo or just like a reality mm -hmm. like when oh i need to go somewhere oh i'll use this i would like to know just to have clear um something to look forward that is tangible that i can know it would be uh realistic that's awesome i yeah <laughs> that would be really fun to to inquire about that <laughs> um well, Danny, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule um, for In the Hyperloop. You know, for viewers that want to learn more about your company, um, Diva Mobile, you know, where's the best place for them to go? Well, we um, just have a super hot new uh, <laughs> website, dvmobile.io. Awesome. Um, we have um, redesigned it. We have added a lot of new stuff. So we invite you to read further on IoT. We have a lot of... Uh, material to read on on design as well mm -hmm. and on our smart surveys um, we have a separate site for that um, cool. we also have um, a lot of job postings because we're growing a lot so oh, cool. if you are interested in the world of IT uh, check it out and I'm sure you'll like it. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Danny. Have a, have a good afternoon. <laughs> thank you.